Hey, you want a free PSC bow? I'm gonna make it simple for you. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you're subscribed and you're liking and you're commenting on our videos, you're entered in the giveaway. We're gonna give a free PSC bow away again. You heard it here first, a free PSC bow. Stop planting apple trees. Don't do it anymore. <laughs> There's a time and a place, guys. Um, visit a lot of clients, hundreds at this point, and one thing that a lot of you love to do is plant those fruit trees, plant that orchard. You really feel like you're making a considerable di difference on a property. I don't know if you are. There's other options. Uh, there's better things that we can be doing with our time. And in fact, I would call <clears throat> planting apple trees, uh, fruit trees, persimmon trees, trees in general. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but it should be part of what I'm going to call the 10%. What is the 10%? The 10% is the things like the mock scrapes, the creating of the little water holes, the, the putting in of the apple trees. Um, are they beneficial? Yes. But are they game changing? Are they life changing? Are they gonna single handedly make your property better? No, they're not. They're there to supplement an already built property, make a tree stand location better than what it currently is. Um, so here's the thing. Let's focus on the creating of a pattern on a property. We wanna create daylight movement. So we've got to have that, that, that bedding area created through whichever route that we plan to go, through logging, hinge cutting, hack and squirt method, knurling, um, girdling trees, things like that. Okay, let's accomplish that. Now let's create the food source, food plotting, destination food. If we don't have destination food on a property, then we can't expect to have consistent movement on a property coming from those areas. If we have little clover plots, it's fine. <clears throat> that's not going to enough, be enough to create consistent movement throughout the entire season. So once we worry about the bigger picture of getting deer on the property to begin with, then maybe we can start focusing on things like apple trees, the mock scrapes, the water holes. A lot of you guys are doing this in reverse, and I get it. You're doing the best with what you got, um, given the equipment maybe you have or the knowledge that you have. Is it going to make your property a little bit better? Yeah, maybe 10% better by putting in these apple trees putting in these mock scrapes, putting in these water holes, but realize that if the deer aren't there, none of that stuff matters. And in order to have the deer there, we need to plant the food, we need to plant the bed, or we need to create the bedding, and then supplement your tree, your tree stand locations with everything. Have this little honey hole for deer um, at the tree stand location where maybe you have that scrape tree. Now you have your water hole here. And over here, you have your little orchard of five, six, 10 apple trees. There's a bunch of different reasons why that deer could ultimately close the distance into your tree stand location if we do that with our trees, with those tree stand locations, but they gotta be there first. So think about it. Wants to, wants to feed on, on the soft mass or on, on the apple trees, boom, we got it covered. Wants to hit that scrape, boom, we got him covered. Wants to get a little drink of water because he's been running like a dog and it's been 90 degrees, we got that covered, but the deer gotta be there first. So apple trees, fruit trees, tree plantings can be overrated. We just have to do it in the right sequence um, or do it in the right order. And if we do that, then they'll be way more successful. So I'm not saying never do it, um, but stop doing it in the wrong order. That's the whole goal here, guys. I know the video, today's video was short, but it was down to the point. Um, and, and, and it's something that you guys should definitely be thinking about. So uh, don't wanna waste any more of your time. If you guys like these videos, like, comment, subscribe. Um, we're always doing giveaways, and if you like free stuff, that's the only way you're going to win it. Make sure you're uh, subscribed to the channel, and that way you're going to see about uh, see some of the new series that we're dropping. Um, you know, just building the properties up, um, and you can learn more. You know, as we're doing it on the hoof. So, until next time, see you guys.